see everybody. Today, I'm actually super pumped for today because we've had a pretty cool idea, I think, for the wrap of this car. We're gonna talk about that, but first of all, we need to wash the car, so let's get to that. discuss the wrap of my car and something that I want to do with you guys. I want to involve you in the whole process. So first of all, let me tell you the idea. Now we've discussed this before and I had you guys vote and talk about what kind of uh, wrap you thought would be good for this car because as you know, I'm trying to, to get you guys to build this car with me. So, you know, you're choosing the future specs that will come on it. For example, you guys chose the steering wheel. So the majority of the votes between the French channel and the English channel was a steering wheel with the LEDs at the top. So that's ordered, that's being built, and that should be here soon. So that's the first modification to the interior. At some point, we're gonna to come to doing the seats as well, but that will be later. And with the wrap, we spoke about, you know, a solid base color, a camo kind of wrap, a race wrap, you know, what, what are we gonna do? And the winner from that, from you guys, from, you know, what you were saying was a Le Mans inspired wrap with an old school dirty finish. So kind of like a, a, a clear, dirty layer of wrap on top of that, which makes the car look worn, effectively, which is a, a really particular look. I really like it, and you guys seem to like it as well. So that's where we ended up. So then I started going online and I started looking through loads and loads of different liveries for R8, you know, which one will look the best, what can we do, etc. And finally, settled on one because I want this to be, you know, like a very standout-ish car, one that you notice quite a bit, um, so that when we take it on road trips or you guys see it, you instantly know, right, that's the one, you know. So that's what I what I want, you know, this car to kind of represent, and I don't want anyone to have any doubts when it, when it drives past me. I don't daily drive it, so I mean, not too much at the moment. But yeah, so that's kind of where I'm going with the whole wrap idea. Now the final covering, the final wrap that I decided was the best one out of the liveries I saw, and this is gonna divide opinions, I know, is this. Now, you're probably seeing a photo of it right now on screen. Yes, it's gold. I was always hesitant over gold and never been a fan of gold wrap, but for some reason, I saw this wrap and I was like, oh, that just looks so sick. So yeah, that's what we've gone for. I know what you're probably thinking as well, but that's a, you know, Gen 2 RA, you've got a Gen 1 facelift. Yes, I'm aware of that, but you know, I just think you can do the wrap anyways. The car's basically the same shape. So we're gonna inspire ourselves from that wrap. Put maybe little things like canards on the car, make it look a little bit more mean. And this is gonna be like the main makeover for the RA. This is, a lot of things are gonna happen at once. So yeah, we're gonna put the canards and we're gonna base it on that wrap. So that gold Le Mans inspired wrap. On top of that, we are then going to actually add something which I found on another Le Mans car which I thought was a really cool idea, which was having people's faces, subscribers' faces on the car and have it as a kind of like a fade out from one color to another. So here's a photo of, of that car. You can see that there's white to black being faded out and if you zoom in, they're actually all photos of people. So taking that idea and applying it to the gold Lamar wrap, that's effectively what we're doing. The guys are designing it now and we're gonna see Gold 
with a dirty finish. So it's quite something. I am so pumped to see it. It could look horrific, but it could also look sick. I don't know, but I'm willing to kind of take a shot, take a chance, and see what we end up with because it's such a. I was I was like looking through the designs and I was like, you know what? I want to do something that's never been done before. Now I I do also want to say because I'm sure some people will say it. I have seen that there have been a couple of other people who have taken the or done the idea previously of having a few like faces and stuff plastered on the ramp. Like, like I know Yanomais did it, so I don't want to take credit for that idea at all. I think it's a fantastic idea and it's one that I'm going to copy on my car. But I'm not taking credit for that at all. But I think mixing it with a few other things will be pretty fun. So that's where we're going with the ramp. Let me know what you think. I just thought I would share that with you guys. But the most exciting part of it, and this is the announcement, is that I want your faces to be on the car. So how is that going to work? It's a bit complicated for us to go through and take everyone's profile photo. So what we're going to do is there's an email that's going to pop up on screen right now. If you want your face to be on this R8, on the wrap, uh, and you be part of the story of this car, you just need to send a selfie to that email. Just a simple selfie of whatever you want, and we are gonna select, well, basically put all of them, I think, on the car. So, you know, if there aren't that many, they'll be bigger. If there are tons, they'll be smaller. But we're gonna put a ton of photos on this car, so you can really be a part of it. So that's the main reason for this video, showing you what we're gonna do, but also let you know that I really want this to be our car, and I was, you know, really thinking, how can I, you know, get you guys to be a part of it? And the best way I could come up with was this idea of literally plastering you guys all over the car. We're then going to also change the wheels, but that's going to be a whole other story. I'm not entirely sure what wheels I want to do, and I think we'll we'll decide on that together. But yeah, I mean, that is what I want to do with this car. I mean, I, I do think it will be nuts. I do think there is a risk of it being a few too many things, because I know some of you will probably say that. But I, I'm waiting to see the renders. The guys we're going to tag their Instagram on the screen right now who are working on the wrap are going to send me a render pretty soon for us to be able to look at and I'll share that on my Instagram which is at Sid Delaney or somewhere of the source so that you guys can have a look as well. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's so exciting. I think this car is gonna kind of come into its own then now that it's got the exhaust, it'll have the manual gearbox, it'll have the steering wheel, eventually the seats, the wrap, the wheels, and it'll kind of be project car sorted. Yeah, let me know what you think down below. If you are also good at renders or if you have any other suggestions, comment down below and uh, yeah. I look forward to seeing your selfies and I look forward to sharing this experience in this car with you. Now that your faces will be all over it, literally. I just got home, there's alarms and everything going off, but there was a, yeah, I drove through, first of all, I drove through mud on my way back, so the clean car is no longer clean. And the wax, well, it didn't, it didn't work at all. There's just water marks all around the car, but you know, whatever, that's what it is. I've only got the GoPro on me. I apologize for the quality, but I thought I would just film an outro here. Imagine this with you guys just all over it. It'll be so cool, completely change the car with the new wheels, everything. But yeah, I mean, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna put the email one more time so that you guys can see what it is to be able to send in your selfies to be on my car. I'll see you guys very soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching as always. 